What's up, guys? This is uh, Beast Tank 06 with Endurance Elite Flotilla with a brand new video. Uh, it's been a long time since I've uh, done a video, <coughs> excuse me, so um, this is kind of like an introduction to get back into it. This video is very simple, uh, really directed towards very brand new players. It's fuel efficiency. Um, if you've played the other Silent Hunters, there's usually a button you can press and it takes you to the perfect uh, fuel efficient speed that will give you the maximum range for your boat. Well, in Silent Hunter 3, being an older game, doesn't have that, so you're going to have to figure it out on your own. So in this tutorial, you'll need to use your knots, not your telegraph, but your knots um, clock face, um, and then you're going to need to use your navigator, and your navigator has a report that says uh, maximum range at current speed. So you'll need these two items in order for this to work. So let's, uh, let's give this a shot. All right. <coughs> so... I'm at the Naval Academy. I'm going uh, standard speed right now. Um, I can give you a hint right now. There is nothing on this telegraph, on this face, that will help you with fuel efficiency. So just for, you know, s just for sake of it, let's just see what the navigator says. How, how fast will we go with the current speed? He says 15,000. 15,000 kilometers. <clears throat> okay. Let's try slow. I'm going to use my time compression. All right. All right. Let's see what the navigator says now. 14,000. So we lost about, you know, about 300 kilometers here with the slow. One third. I'm going to time compress. Okay. All right. At one third, I'm getting 22,700 kilometers. That's pretty impressive for one third speed. But this is not the best fuel efficient speed out there. Uh, here, what, what if you go really slow? Let's go one knot. All right, let's bring it down to one knot. Well, this has to be the most fuel efficient speed. I mean, come on. Here, two knots. Right? 5,428 kilometers. So you can see already, even going the slowest speed possible is not going to help you. Um, so I'll show you. For this boat, I'm not going to show you all the experimentation, but for this boat, it's a 7B uh, with no um, upgrades to the engine. At 7 knots, and watch, let's get us up to 7 knots. Alright, at 7 knots, 24,036 kilometers. So I get an extra 2,000 kilometers just for over over two thirds, or um, excuse me, one third. I get an extra 2,000 kilometers by hand selecting seven knots. So that's something for you to um, be quiet. <laughs> so that's something for you uh, as a new person coming into this to think about. Why why do you care about fuel efficiency? Because um, if you're going after convoys, if you're going after shipping, you may have to overtake these uh, ships. In order to overtake those ships, you need fuel. So with all the traveling you do, going out to your patrol zone, coming back, you need to also factor in, if, you're, if this is for if you're doing manual targeting and, and realism, you need to factor in how, how long you have to go out there and do these things. And once you find that convoy, do you have enough fuel to overtake the convoy, get yourself into a good, a good position, and attack it. So I hope this video helps. Please comment uh, and let me know what you think. Thanks.